Hello and happy new year. It is 2024. We are coming towards the end of the first week and I did pick up the camera a few times throughout the week but honestly was just super busy trying to get the orders done and new releases and stuff so I filmed like the old clip. It's a bird in my garden. I thought it was a squirrel but it's a bird. <laughs> um, I filmed the odd clip but I didn't really speak to the camera so I'm starting the vlog now. Happy New Year like I said. It's been quite a busy week but I'm feeling caught up now so I'll run you through sort of what I've been doing. I had a bit of a tidy of the office, my planning stuff especially, my like Calax unit, my planning desk. It wasn't really inspiring so I've had a big declutter, tidy things around, rearranged it so that everything is like accessible and in a way that I want to use it. So I'm excited for that. In terms of the shop, I shipped the orders like I said, we collated all the foil which was a huge job, Tom did like basically all of it. So big thanks to Tom for that. I made grab bags, trying to like do them as I go rather than wait and have like boxes full like we ended up with for Black Friday. Freebies have switched over so we have the January monthly freebie, the spring PR freebies which are so cute. It's so satisfying to see them in their little storage thing where you've got the six PR freebies. We've got like a blue purple yellow theme which I thought was really pretty for spring and then the January freebie is basically like Valentine's themed. So obviously it's pink and then we have a selection of doodles and most of them will be released in the shop very soon. So we've just popped to Costa and they have a new item called a hot milkshake and I really wanted to try it because to me it just sounds like it would be a hot chocolate but people are saying that they're really good and I am going to Costa next week with Sarah because I wanted to try the hot milkshake. So I've got one flavour and I'm probably going to try the other one next week but it's so weird. So it comes in like a hot cup with like a a domed lid and I put a glass drawing because I don't like paper straws when they get all soggy um, but it, it is literally like the consistency of a milkshake but warm it's so weird and I'm, I'm not sure if I like it or if it's just like a novelty and they give you cream on top as well but I got the chocolate hazel flavour my thing is I don't really think the flavour combinations they've got are like up my alley they do a white chocolate and a strawberry and I think the other one is like coffee and caramel so I'll probably try the white chocolate one when I go next but yeah I just thought I would show you this revolutionary new item if you've tried it let me know because i do think it's fun but i don't think it will replace my normal drink so i need to do a mystery brief today and i want to work on some foil but first i need to try and tackle the stock shelf situation so at the minute we've got kits scripts doodles and at the top I've got albums, but I think this is where I'm planning to put the new foil. I've ordered these boxes, um, you'll probably see them later in the video, but they are like little plastic stacking boxes and they have like a little cutout in the front where you can pull the kit. So I do need to measure because I don't actually know if I'm going to get two. Surely I will get two. If I don't get two stacked then I might have to abort that idea. But I need to try and tidy up everything else. I've got like albums and notepads that need a new home. I have got some space to like move things around. So I don't think it's gonna be impossible. It's just figuring out like where things make sense to be. But I feel like back here, especially, I have a lot of like dead space. So where like the notepads are, they are stacked all the way up from the bottom. I don't know if you can see like that but I obviously like can't reach them when they get down to that low so I thought about using these purple crates these are from my like event stuff that I have stored away so if I do end up using them I'll have to take them off when I do events but I'm thinking they might just add some height so I'm just thinking of using it like this as a riser and then I can just put like a smaller selection of notepads back there and store the rest away So I guess it would look something like that, which is a lot better, but I haven't really achieved anything because I've just moved them. <laughs> it would be good if I could store it like on its side, so it doesn't fit. So I've just quickly made these labels so that I can label the albums and then they don't have to be stored in separate sections. They can all just be together, but they will be labeled so that I can make sure that I'm picking the right one for orders. So these have cut fine, so I'm gonna go and run the rest through the graph tech. The other thing I've been cutting today is new releases. So last week we had two kits, sloth mode, which is so cute. Just like a lazy day, homey, stay at home kit. And then we have Sunshine Daisy, which is so pretty for spring. If you know Kat on my PR team, you will know that she loves daisies. This is basically her in a kit. I just love it. And the little cow is so cute. So those were the kit releases. And then we also had extender boxes. So I haven't got any made up to show you, but I did do a digital mock-up for the listing. So it's basically just like two full boxes side by side that you can use to 
like bend back over itself and add like more stuff to your planner by being able to fold it open. Which is probably the worst explanation you've ever heard but I will use them in a plan with me soon and you will see. And then the most exciting new release is a new custom script fonts. So this is the custom script designer, you can type your scripts in and you can just like have any custom text that you want but we have got new scripts. So you've got the usual caps and cursive, these are like the standard scripts in my shop. But then we've introduced font one, which is also like a cursive font, but it's just like a little bit prettier, in my opinion. It's the one I use to do the labels for the albums. I do think this one works best on like single line text because sometimes like it's got quite a lot of height to the font. So I think it depends on the letters. Then font two is this kind of rounded, lowercase like handwriting kind of font. Font three is this really cute, like capital letter swirly O one. I love this one. The example I used for the like listing mock-up was Walk Aristotle and I love how the O looks with the lowercase I, very cute. And then font four is, this is to me like a very traditional like script font from like, I don't wanna say like, 2019 but kind of like you know what do you know what I mean in like the nicest way possible it's very like classic planner script in my opinion then we have font 5 which is I love this one I like this one in um small it looks really cute it's like a thin squished together um font but like going about handwriting as well so that's really cute and then the final one is another scripty one but I think it's really kind of, I don't know how I would describe it, like it's kind of distressed and like a bit scruffy but like really pretty, kind of like edgy. I think laundry was the example I used and I just love how it looks like with the D and the Y, it's really pretty. So those are the six new fonts. I was asked on Facebook if they are permanent scripts because I did do the limited edition Black Friday one and I will say that they are semi-permanent in the sense that I don't plan to get rid of them but if they are like not popular or like clearly like customers don't like them then I will replace them with something else but we are planning to keep offering like different scripts it's not just going to be the standard two that I did have for the first couple of months of the custom script listing being live and if I find other new fonts that I like I may add them we might still do limited edition ones but I had planned to do a monthly font and I just don't really think it needs to be limited to like each month I think we can just have them all because it makes no difference to me if I'm cutting this font or the other font, like they're all being made to order, so it doesn't make a difference. I was in the middle of drying my hair and I got a delivery, so excuse the fact that I have dried my fringe and nothing else. Um, but the boxes came for the foil. So these are what I ordered. They're like stacking pick bins and they are in blue. So obviously I would prefer them to be in like purple or something, but they came in blue and yellow and I don't really want to spray paint this many boxes. But they just stack like so and then they are gonna go up here. So I did just put the foil in the cardboard boxes for now but I'm gonna put them in there instead. But if it was like even maybe like three millimeters bigger, I don't think it would fit. But the only thing is when I have a lot of them, I think they're gonna be a little bit annoying to pick. So I'm gonna put something sort of in this corner that just raises it up a little bit. So this is how they look. I'm actually really pleased with like how much of a tight fit it is. I know it could have like gone either way and been too small, but it looks really good. There is quite a lot of space behind, but I think I will pile up my excess foil because we don't collate all the bundles at once. So the extra like foil that's waiting to be collated can just live back there, which I think makes sense. My only kind of worry, I guess, is that I'm gonna run out of space because for all that I released on Boxing Day, we'll obviously fill these eight and then 
that's just like two more collections if I did them in all four foils. So this may have to change but I do like it for now and I do feel like these boxes are really useful. I've got a couple more still and it also came with the like labels that you put in the front of the box. So I'd already printed SKUs for the foil pack so I'm going to go and label these now. So it is a few hours later and I have spent the whole afternoon designing foil on my laptop. I didn't know if I was going to get time to put another order in before Chinese New Year but I did send an email yesterday and they said if I was quick I would be able to get in. So I've prioritised that and I'm so glad to have it done but my brain is completely fried. <laughs> Obviously I'm quite new to designing foil and I feel like it's so like attention intensive compared to designing kits like I can design a kit and like watch tv and like do other stuff but with foil I have to really focus and it's a little bit stressful so hopefully like that will come with time I'm sure it will but um yeah I need to do something now that is gonna not be as sort of brain intensive so I'm gonna collate some kits I did do a little bit of cutting while I was designing I just restocked these sheets but I don't have anything designed to cut I haven't done this week's releases yet so the graph type was kind of out of action. So these are the sheets that I'm going to collate now. I've got the mini kits and the SBKs from last week's releases. I may do some designing tonight if I feel like it. I've got the artwork from Kidnish Girl Jess that just came out. It's like a Planner Girl themed one, which is really cute. I think I'm going to do it in both colours. It came in like a blue and separately in like a pinkish one. So I'm probably just going to do both because I can't pick and I've asked people for feedback and people like both. <laughs> so why not just do both? And this was the outcome of putting all of my foil away. So I think the issue is going to be that I'm going to have to put like multiple bundles in each bin. Otherwise, I'm going to run out of space pretty quick. So I'm wondering about putting like a dividing piece of card in the middle and just like having two on top of each other. Not sure. I got this like knockoff Udi, it's from a brand called Snugs and I got Tom one for Christmas and he really liked it so I got myself one and it's so warm. I actually got their like light range which is meant to be thinner because I knew that if I was like up and about doing things I would get too hot and I'm so glad that I did because I'm really warm. <laughs> Wednesday and I'm gonna finish cutting up the doodles and I need to do my plan with me voiceover pretty quickly so I can get that scheduled for tonight. So I haven't been working on kits yet but I did design some doodles yesterday. So we have some really cute ones. There is this like chicken with gravy, like a little gravy boat. Well I think it is a turkey or some like a Thanksgiving set but I think it would work for like a roast dinner which is more British than Thanksgiving. We have some little chocolate strawberries, so cute for Valentine's Day. We've got some light bulbs in yellow and also in multicolour. I thought these would be good for like marking ideas or just like work things I'd probably use them for. Got some little trains, some brains, and I've also got these in like rainbow multicolour as well. Some rainbow, not rainbow, yeah, they are rainbow. Some rainbow heart coffee cups. And then the ones I haven't cut yet, there is a yoga mat and a set of dumbbells. I think that is all the new doodles for this week, but I've got loads to release. So I'm gonna try and keep like churning through them because they're so much easier to do in batches than to do just like a few every now and then. So this was my plan with me that I filmed last night and I used extenders for the first time. So this is the punk rock Christmas kit and this was the week before Christmas. So I had quite a lot of things on Monday, Friday and no, Monday, Saturday and Sunday. So like I said, I've never used them before, but I do really like them, but I think I need to change how I do my scripts and like how I save stickers for these days because I ended up with some bigger gaps. Just because I'm used to using like my little things more often and then I ended up having bigger gaps where I should have just used the bigger stickers. And then because I'm gonna be using the bigger functional stickers, I could have done bigger scripts or done more where there's like the double line. But this is the new custom font three which looks really cute. I really just wanted like, 
it's not a very punk rock font but I just wanted something a little bit different so I really think it looks cute with this spread then this is my kit for Christmas week it is the September mystery which I'm so excited to use and this is something Kat got me for Christmas. I'm using it to store like my extra sheets that I kind of got on the go, but it's a little Taylor Swift like eras. Um, it's like a paper holder thing. It's so useful to have on my desk. I think it's from No White Space stickers, but like I have this massive like stack of foil because I've been keeping like the oops sheets and just like taking sheets that I use for photos or examples or something. So I'm putting all of my extras in there for now, along with any kits that I know I'm using soon. And then also my plans for the week, but this does work better on the other side. So the whole thing is like the wrong way around at the minute, just so that I can see the plans through like the clear acrylic bit. And then Kat also got me this like era's birdhouse. So I've got loads of my die cuts and little sticker sheets in here at the minute. But this sticker was from No White Space Stickers and then you get the acrylic birdhouses just off um, like Amazon or something. It's just like a, a, like a standard sized one. Kat did put the sticker in for me, which I'm very appreciative appreciative of because I would have messed it up but how cute is this just to go on my desk and then she also got me like a um, like a sun catcher in the same pattern but I don't know what window to put it on I'm a bit scared of commitment well, I don't even know if I showed you but I did tidy my planning desk so it's all looking a little bit better so yeah I'm gonna do the voiceover for this and then we are gonna reorganize some envelopes this whole vlog is just reorganizing so I ordered these I think they're to like separate like clothes and stuff on shelves but they are like clippy acrylic things and I'm hoping I can separate my envelopes with them. So kind of like what I did with this box but with like an acrylic, like more stable divider. Okay, so it just took a little bit of rearranging, but I think it's definitely better. So I've left these ones here because they're like really heavy and they can stack quite high and I can still reach them. So this is the large letter, like the A4 and then the A5 one. These are the A6 uh, like parcel boxes for like washi tape. These are parcels, also parcels, but kind of like a random selection of sizes, but they're very useful to keep. So I like to have like odd sizes. And then these are the hedgehog like board mailers that I use for the advent calendar. They sent me a whole replacement box. So it goes like all the way back and it's full. I just kind of taped the box closed and cut a bit off so I can kind of use it as like, like a pouch, I guess. So I can just pull them out. This probably won't work once I start to make my way through the box, but for now it works really well. And then on my packing desk, I just have all my regular mailers here. So these are like the whiteboard sticker mailers that I use for flatter orders. So Plan With Me has done uploading, so now that's all sorted, I am going to get onto my main job of the day, which is designing the sticker kits. So like I said, there's two Kitnish Girl Jess colourways that I'm going to do, and then I think I have an artwork from Nella that I bought last week and didn't release. I think it's Home Sweet Home, like moving home themed. So I think those will be our releases for this week, and then I will do some journaling kits to match as well. So that's pretty much all I'm going to be doing today. So I will end the vlog here. I apologise it's a little bit of a shorter one. I'm going to start next week's vlog right now so we can get back into the like, usual schedule of having a week delay. So that will help me out editing. I do also just need to mention that I am in the Ultimate Planner sale next weekend. So when you see this video, it will be the following weekend, the 19th to the 21st of January. I'll be having 20% off tiered freebies, a early order freebie, so not a goodie bag, but something as a bonus for like being an early orderer. I don't know what I'm doing yet, but I will let you know on social media. Obviously there'll be a bunch of new releases as well, but I will link all of the information to the Ultimate Planner sale website down below if you're interested in seeing who else is taking part in the sale. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the vlog, seeing me organize the office a little bit for the new year and happy new year, I think I said, but if not, happy new year and I'll see you in my next video.